Welcome to A and M Awesome Animals. Hello, everyone. Today we're traveling to England, and we will be talking about the English bulldog. Please don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for future weekly videos. The English bulldog is a small, statured, medium-sized dog, and as its name suggests, it was originally bred for working with bulls. More to the point, the bulldog was trained and bred to fight bulls for sport, beginning in England in the 1200s and throughout Europe until the 1800s. Dependable and predictable, the bulldog is a wonderful family pet and loving to most children. People-oriented is a breed that actually solicits human attention. However, they have retained the courage that was originally bred into them for bull baiting, so they make fine watchdogs. The English bulldog has a sweet, gentle disposition. The bulldog is a wonderful family pet and loving to mostly all children. They are very people-oriented and actively need human attention. The English bulldog stands about 16 inches tall. The female weighs about 50 pounds, and the male weighs about 54 pounds. Bulldogs were unfortunately bred to be highly efficient bull baiting machines. Their stocky bodies were good for keeping them grounded against a bull's best efforts to launch them into the air, while their loose skin worked almost like a shield to protect their vital organs. Their face wrinkles served as channels, moving the blood down their faces and out of their eyes, and an undershot jaw pushed their bottom teeth, giving them a better grip. Short snouts allowed them to breathe properly while holding on to a bull's snout, and smaller back legs meant the dog could be shaken without sustaining any spinal injuries. In summary, the dog was an aggregate of bull defeating features. Some said that the dog barely even felt pain. Once bull baiting was banned in England, bulldogs were suddenly not needed. It seemed like this breed's days were numbered. But lovers of the dog saw potential. Fanchers began to breed the dogs to have kinder and gentler demeanors. Some bulldogs were brought to Germany and the United States, where they worked as herding dogs. Others stayed in England as companions. Thanks to their big heads and tiny backsides, bulldogs have a little trouble maneuvering in the water. Although some can swim, it's best to keep an attentive eye on them in case they slip under. Another result of the bulldog's awkward biology is difficult conceiving. Males have a hard time reaching the females, so to avoid unnecessary physical stress, breeders OPT for artificial insemination. The birthing process is also a bit of an ordeal thanks to the breed's big heads and small birth canals. Since natural birth could cause injury or death, most bulldogs are born through C-section. Otto, the skateboarding bulldog, recently broke the Guinness World Record for longest human tunnel traveled through by a skateboarding dog. The talented canine soared under the legs of 30 people in Lima, Peru, in honor of Guinness World Records Day in 2015. Soldiers in the United States infantry were often called dog faces. Are dog-faced soldiers, but the Third Infantry Division took this nickname to a new level by officially adopting a canine mascot and song. In 1965, the division commissioned Walt Disney to draw them a mascot. The result was Rocky the Marn Bulldog, which set the army back exactly one dollar. The single bank was signed by the Major General and framed with a letter of thanks. In 1903, Dr. Horatio Nelson Jackson set out on what is now considered America's first road trip. Cars were still brand new at this time, and there were only 150 miles of paved road to explore. Not to mention no roads, maps, or gas station. Along for the excursion were co-driver Seawall K. Crocker and a bulldog named Bud. The bulldog wore a pair of riding goggles, just like his owner. To keep the dust out of his eye. Although they made a number of wrong turns along the way, the trip proved that cars were the future of transportation. Snoring, drooling, farting, yup, all the endearing stuff. Bulldogs are brassophilic, a condition caused by their short snouts, which makes them prone to gassiness and snorting. Bulldogs don't require a great deal of exercise, so a quick jaunt up and down the street during the not so hot part of the day and chill out sessions on the couch fit the bill perfectly for this medium energy dog. They also adapt well to different home environments and make great companions for singles as well as families of all sizes. If you can't be around as much as you like, don't worry. Plenty of dog sitters offer dog boarding, so you know your little darling will be in good hands while you're gone. If you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for future weekly videos. See you guys next time. Goodbye.